I really should hook this up to my monitor. So whenever it stops. Hi. Oh. What's up? Uh, this is the channel that we're doing. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah this is this is this is our this is our channel okay, let's talk about what we're whoa doing. okay we're doing my hair and what like what are we doing <laughs> <laughs> we're straightening my hair okay with things that we're using okay so that okay nice <laughs> <laughs> and 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 we're straightening my hair with with um Water. Heat protectant and, and water. <laughs> this is great, guys. This is great. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I'll take over. Welcome back to the channel. If you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, we are flat ironing my daughter's hair. That was her who was just talking, Isis. So we're doing flat iron her hair. Just doing an homage to the first time I flat ironed her hair. It was actually on YouTube. Not on YouTube, but I flat ironed it for YouTube. That was actually like six or seven years ago, believe it or not. If you want to see that video, that actually was my most viewed video on the channel. Almost a million views. I will go ahead and link that in the bio and tag it up here. It's been a while since I did any type of hair tutorial for the kids, so she's been begging me. So I I thought that it'd be a perfect time to record a video and I actually wanted to get this channel up and running again. I believe I finally perfected the process for us at least. Um, the first time I did it was the first time I've flat ironed her hair at all. So this, like her hair texture was a whole new hair texture for me. Um, she has about, I think like a four, maybe B, C. I'm more of like a three, I think B or C. And my hair texture is a lot looser than hers and I just didn't know how to do it. Okay, yeah, I'm not a hairstylist, so I don't really know the proper number or letter for her hair, but I know it, it's not like mine. So I blow dry and flat iron her hair using only these two products. The Tresemme Heat Protectant and the Chi Heat Protectant. No, they're not sponsoring me, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> If y'all want to collab in the future. All right, now, but for real though. On this day, it was actually, she washed her hair the day before. She's actually been washing her own hair, thank the Lord. So she washed the day before and I did have to re-wet it because I just feel like the blow dry goes through her hair a lot smoother when her hair is like wet or moisturized. And then I really work in the product. I really work in the product and I brush it through to make sure I get all the tangles out. So step one, I would say, is to really make sure that your hair is really clean. Wash it a couple times and do a um, little conditioner. Wash it out, make sure it smells good. It's really, really clean from root to tip. And then second step is really get a good blow dry. And if you see my blow dry technique, I am not like running it through the hair multiple times, at least for the first for the first or second go, I really just concentrate the heat. I I brush through the hair and, well, I don't know. If I'm like I'm I'm pulling the hair and I'm blow drying it. And I have found that this makes a world of a difference. This makes a world of a difference when blow drying her hair. It's still a little bit painful. I mean, I guess the heat. I gotta be a little easier on the heat, but it makes it a lot like less painful. It still, it still has a couple little tangles here and there, but compared to the first time, if you watch the first video, you can tell that it was, it was not good. We did not have a good time doing it, but this, this time around, um, I forgot this guy's Instagram from, from th this is the technique that I learned from him, and it works wonders. So if you see what I'm doing here, um, I'm like, I, I brushed the hair down a little bit, like midway through, and then I am blow drying like in between the hair. I do do it on the brush like towards the end. I, I concentrate the blow dryer on the brush, but I don't want to do that because I actually have uh, melted some of the bristles. So you really don't want to do that. You really want to keep it um, like in between the hair. At least if you're going to be blow drying it um, for like a long period of time in one spot. If you're going to just go through the hair pretty quickly, I, I, can, I would say, yeah, you could point it at the bristles, but if not, I would say, do like pull the brush. I'm doing hand movements here. What like as I'm talking to you right now, like nobody can see what I'm doing. I pull the brush and then I concentrate the hair in between the brush. Um, in, in between, Lord, in but in between like the brush and her scalp. If that makes if that makes any sense, <laughs> just keep watching. I put plenty of uh, yeah, I put plenty of videos on here so y'all can see, or plenty of clips on here so you can see exactly 
what I'm talking about here. And this has helped to make a world of a difference. And then I would say making sure the hair is pretty, I don't want to say soaking wet, but just damp enough so that it makes it's easier for the brush to slide through the, um, the hair. And you really want to get a good blow dry. You really want to make that hair as straight as possible as straight as humanly possible. Now I learned the blow dry thing from the Glam Twins. If you don't know them, they are two, tw two black twins. And I don't know their nationality, I'm, I'm sure they're just black. And they have a super duper long hair. And I learned from them that you have to really concentrate on your blow dry process and making sure that your hair comes out as straight as possible for the best flat iron and for me some reason like the first pass of the blow dry is usually like what sets the tone for the rest of the blow drying in like that section like if you really concentrate like that first blow dry that first heat on that hair on, the, on that section of hair when you continue to blow dry it and just make sure that the roots are really like dry and when you just continue to blow dry it like you know just pass through it a couple extra times it just continues to make it straighter but i find that when you do like the first pass and it's not really that straight then it really doesn't get any straighter so i'm going to show y'all like how to really do it and to really take your time when doing it so here's a full clip of me just flat ironing her hair and how long it takes and i want to tell y'all again i am not a hair stylist i don't know anything about hair this is just from my experience with both of our hair textures i find this and i could be totally wrong i don't, might not know what i'm doing so i don't know if you want to follow me like that but this is the results i get when i've been doing it the last few times So if you haven't noticed, after I blow dry each section, I go ahead and I twist it up. Nothing too tight, just a loose uh, twist, because I noticed that whenever I do her hair, whenever it's not blow dry, if I leave it out, then it starts to tangle up. So I don't know. I just like to get it up out the way. And I just wanted to show you guys, I've been doing the back of her hair out this whole time, so I just kind of wanted y'all to see the side view of her head of me blow drying it. So that's it. And I do make sure to blow dry her hair in pretty um, small sections. 
I want to make sure that I get the best blow dry that I can in each section. And then on the side of her hair, it's really hard. You see, I have to keep tilting her head back and forth because the heat is kind of rough, especially closer to her face. So um, I try to do too much of the root, um, at least with that little technique I was telling y'all. Um, what? Oh, yeah. See, once I go back, I... Or once I'm done with the bulk of it and I kind of go down to the end, then I try and um, I'll, I'll go back and I'll just do the quick, um, like, run through of her hair towards the uh, root of her hair. But it, it's still it's still pretty hot. Um, sometimes I will turn down the heat to a low setting, but, yeah, it's, it's still pretty tough and she doesn't like it. So I am not a hairstylist, so, yeah. <laughs> With every passing moment Thoughts of you run through my head I am slowly realizing I think you're truly ever I think you're truly something special Something my dreams are really made of The Winter Soldier fell off the mountain in the other time. Yeah. Let me give a nice little flick. Okay, so the blow drying is done. We're about to start on the flat ironing. Um, so I have a few tips that kind of help me when I'm doing this. I work in small sections. Um, if I have to, I do even like split up the sections. After I section, after I section, yeah, I split sections. Um, and then tip number two is kind of go like at a medium pace. Um, as you'll see later on, some of these sections are some of the ones that after I fly iron it, you can see like some like bumpy, some like wiggly things, some like uh, waves in it, I guess. I guess because I'm kind of like not going at a me like at a regular i don't know i'm still learning i'm telling y'all i'm not really the best at this but I'm, I'm not going at the best optimal pace i guess and then you also want to make sure um oh and i also sometimes go over it like a couple times um trying to get those bumpies out it really doesn't help so you really want to make sure that when you are doing it you you get it right the first time it, it's obviously not going to show like after every hair strand, because you know there's other hair on top of it showing, but you want to definitely make sure towards the top of the hair you really do the best that you can because it will make a difference. Oh, and then after some sections, I or before I do some sections, I add some more chi oil um, because I usually add it if the Part that I blow dried is not feeling as smooth as I want it to feel and adding just a little tiny bit of extra cheat oil makes it a little bit more smoother but you don't want to add too much because after about like three four five days that that will weigh down your hair and start making it look a little bit oily so you just kind of want to put just enough and for your hair is going to be different for her hair because her hair is a lot thicker it could take a lot more products but anyway y'all that is about it um i do want to just you know show you the montage of just i just think it's so satisfying watching her hair um flat iron um at the end she does need a trim she did get a trim actually by Derek J. I don't know if you guys watch housewives of atlanta but she got a hair trim by him in 2020 so it is time for her to get another trim it's been literally like two years since she's had a trim that was in july 2020 so I'm working on finding someone that I think can do a great job trimming her hair. Uh, if y'all have any suggestions, um, leave me. Uh, well, you can't leave me a comment, but yeah, let me know. Follow my Instagram. Hit me up there. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Oh, <laughs>
All right. Stand up. Stand up. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we should show the camera exactly what he did. Who is this? All right, here. All right. Come stand up, stand up, stand up. Come on now. Okay, turn around. I need to do the other arm. I'm not even looking at the damn camera when I'm Ow. doing this crap. You brushed my entire body. <laughs> Your hair goes down. This little middle part just won't stop. Going up, we need to get a cut again, like for real. Ooh. Okay, give it a nice little flick. Okay, walk and do whatever. All right, we're done. We're done? We are done, girl. It's done? What are you? Oh my gosh, this girl. My oh my gosh, so this mirror is terrible. My looking. lips are so dry. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Look at it. Let's see. <laughs> are you happy, sweetie? Yes, I'm finally done with the pain. Oh my gosh. Let's get. You want to brush it? Yeah. Okay, brush it in the bathroom. Look at this little Barbie girl in a Barbie wear. She's so a crazy. Oh. It's amazing. Here, brush it. Let's see. This hat looks. Oh, this girl's been bugging me about this hair. That's why I have it. <laughs> oh, really? I, I just asked once or twice. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, Jim Carrey. Go ahead. You want to show it to Amber? Yeah, I'll tell you that after. Like, oh! In my hair. Yeah. Let me let me see you brush it in the front. Turn around. Well, I guess it doesn't really work that way. <laughs> All right. Turn. This is a mirror. This is terrible. But I don't know. I don't know. It's 1.30 in the morning. I'm tired. It is? Yeah, I'm tired. Okay. I'm yeah. Okay, we are done. We gotta get some cute B-roll shots for the camera. B-roll, 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 B-roll. <laughs> can we put it can we put it up in the ponytail? She's a Barbie girl. <laughs> oh, we don't have a hair tie for the ponytail. Oh. Good. She puts a hair in a ponytail every three seconds and takes it right back out. Sweat? Yeah, that's soaking wet. <sighs> Isis, really? Yes. Alright, heavy? Yeah. It's like paparazzi. It's like paparazzi. <laughs> paparazzi. It's really like brown. Hmm? Your hair. Yeah, my hair is brown. You want to give it like a side part and see what it looks like? Oh, it's literally dying. All right, give it peace. Peace. Oh,